Hello, an MEI um, a demonstration of a rank correlation hypothesis testing um, in MEI S2. I'm using June 2010 question one as an example. Okay, as ever, the first thing we do is read the question. Two celebrity judges, celebrities judge a talent contest. Each celebrity scores out of 20 um, to each of a random sample of eight contestants. The scores, X and Y, given by the celebrities are shown below. So here's our table, here's our eight contestants, A to H, and here's the scores of X and Y. What's it asked us to do? Calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, and the second half is going to ask us to hypothesis test. Okay, so what's the first thing we have to do? Well, we have to rank the data. Um, we could go in this case, it's not entirely clear, but presumably the higher score, um, the better the contestant was. So let's rank, the, we rank all the X data from, done by, um, by Celebrity Judge X, and then we rank all of that for Celebrity Judge Y. So what's the way um, on the X list? One well, of the highest score is number one is D. Next highest is 17, 17.2. 17, um, F is 3 at 15, so let's make that clearer, 3, 14, that's 4 is H, 5, the fifth one is E, the sixth one is 11, G, the seventh one is C, and the eighth one is contestant A. Okay, so that's that X data rank, let's do the Y data. Well, 15 is the highest here, that's number one, that's the first rank. 13 second highest, that's two. Um, 12 is third. And 11 is fourth. And 10 is fifth. Nine is sixth. Seven is seventh. And six is eighth. So we've ranked them. The first thing we have to do is to rank the data. Rank data. Always remember to do that. If you just plug that core, um, that raw data in there, you'll be doing a Pearson type thing rather than a ranked. So we've ranked the data, okay? And we rank um, each of the X's and then each of the Y's. Now, what's the best way of getting our correlation coefficient? Well, it's to put it in our calculator. OK, so here's our calculator up, and we're just going to put the X data in. That's 8, 2, 7, 1, and I'll feed in the rest of the data. Here's um, 1, 5, 3, 6, 4, that's our X data. And then we're going to go across and put our Y data in. 8, 2, Five, four, six, seven, three, and one. Here we go. And then we're just going to go in and calc our regression. Calc regression with a x. It's a linear. Here's our ax plus b. And from our calculator, we've got our r value. It's r s. Our little, it's, going, it's going to be our Spearman here. Zero point four two eight six. RS 0 0.428. Let's just squeeze back. What was the next number going to be? It was going to be 6. Thank you. So there's our RS. So there's five marks for doing what we just did. I'd say remember to rank the data. Okay, what's well, so Ask us in the next part of this question. Carry out a hypothesis test and a 5% significance level to determine whether there is positive association between the scores allocated between the two um, celebrities. So it's positive association. Okay, so let's get to work on this part then. Okay, let me just extend and get ourselves ready. Part two, so we're being asked to hypothesis test. Hypothesis test. We've asked for significance level 5% and for a positive association, yeah. 
association. Okay. Okay, so what's our H0 going to be? Well, our H0 is always that there is no correlation in any of these correlation tests. Yep, so rho equals zero. Our H1, well, in context here, they've wanted a positive association. Yep, association. So here we're going to have rho is greater than zero. Did it ask us to give a reason? Didn't actually ask us to give a reason, but there we are. That's why we're doing it, because we're looking for a positive association. OK, what's our test statistic? Well, our test statistic is RS, which we've already worked out as being 0 0.4286. There we go. OK, where's our critical value? Well, we're looking at a 5% at significance level. We've got N. How many contestants were there? There were eight of them. And we're on a one tail test because we're only interested in row greater than. OK, so the next thing we just need to do is to look at our tables um, for this information. So here's page 21 of the um, MEI table book, Spearman's. Here we go, this is Spearman, rank correlation. And what have we got? Well, we're interested in N equals 8. We're interested in a 5% as a one tail and 5%. So we're coming down this column and across that row and therefore our critical value is 0 0.6429. Okay, so critical value, critical value. Zero point six times six four. Let's rewrite that. Let's get rid of the end here. Excuse me. Point six four two nine. Okay, what's our next step? Well, our next step is to draw our, um, our outcome line to help us work out what we're doing here. So here we are. Oops, excuse me, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to do that in white. So here's our line, yeah. And it goes between minus one, that's our lowest correlation, and plus one is our top correlation, the middle point is zero, and that's going to be our H naught, isn't it? No correlation. They then asked us to find our critical we found our critical value here, that's that one there. So I'm just going to draw that in here at 0 0.6429 critical value, yeah. And we're interested in more extreme than that, so we're going to the right, aren't we? Right up to plus one. So that's our H1. So we've got a ho high line here, haven't we? Now let's put our test statistic on. Our test statistic was test statistic was it is at 0 0.4289 wasn't it 89 there we go that's our test statistic so our test statistic is not in the critical region yeah so let's just quickly go down so what we're going to do next so let's complete the test keep that on the screen that we can see here so that's our test statistic okay so what have we got here, our critical, our test statistic, 0 0.4289 is less than our critical value, 0 0.6429 critical value. So that's not significant, not significant. And we can see that our test statistic is in the H0 area of this. So that is going to be... And H naught accept, and then we're going to write our typical wording here, which is there is not enough evidence. There is not enough evidence to suggest that. Now we go back, remember, and we just lift word for word what was in the question. That there, that there is a positive association 
between the scores allocated by the two celebrities that there is a positive association is a positive association between the scores allocated by the two celebrities there we go that's another six points okay here's my little end summary of um, this one rank correlation hypothesis testing I think people forget to do particularly in the example like above is you've got to rank the data first then use your calculator to find the RS value uh, for the critical value look it up in your Spearman table and then draw your test line yeah as below and you could have one of any of these combinations for two tail high ho high um, has to be that but for our one tail it could be high ho or ho high and then you reach your usual conclusions depending on where your test statistic is and whether it's in the critical region or not so best of luck